been doing an EICR and there's been a problem with the line circuit. I'm just trying to sort that out. If we just look up here, this is what I've been doing. I know it looks a mess, but it's just to explain for the video. So there's obviously a light there and then there's a switch and there's a light switch here as well. One of the things that the customer, also what the previous person had picked up, and I know there's exposed copper there, but it's only temporary just to, to show the video. The previous electrician had said this was wired up in aluminium and said that it needs to be completely rewired. It doesn't because it's tinned copper. And so there's nothing wrong with that at all. The only problem with this, it didn't have a CPC on it. So a separate one has been run down. Uh, I didn't do that, it had been done previous by someone else. How to sort that out. The purpose of the video today is for me just to show you a different way of wiring up a two-way lighting circuit. You've just got a three core cable there. Again, forget there's no CPC, it's not the purpose of the video for this. And you've got a three core over here. So if you see, we've put the common on both switches. The common is in the, the white cable is the common. And then we've got the red and the blue cable into L1 and L2. And that's the same on both sides. Now, if we come up here, again, I've just done it with Wagos rather than a joint box at the moment, just to show how simple this method really is. Now, I couldn't get access. The customer was quite happy to chop the ceiling out, do it from there and find the junction box. So we've been able to do that. Here you've got the two three core cables here. It's quite common on a, on a two way lighting circuit. The commons simply just need to be joined together, whether it's a two way or two way and intermediate. The common going from that switch and that switch, in this case, we've used the white wire. That's just joined together and left as it is. On this cable here and this cable here, okay, this is the main lighting circuit. We've got the live conductor or the line conductors, and then you've got the two neutral conductors. And so you've got the supply coming in and the supply going out. And at the moment, all I've done is just put them in Wago connectors. So if we look here, We've got the, on the neutral, I've just took a temporary light here just to prove for the purpose of the video. I've just took a neutral straight to the light. Obviously there's no CPC, no earth at the moment, but this isn't obviously going to stay like this. Now we're going to look at the three core cables or the two way lighting. As said previously, the two white wires I've used as the commons. Then we've got the two reds, and I think in this case it's they're in L1 or L2, it doesn't really matter to be honest. I've got the two reds joined together and I've got the two blues joined together. So you've got both the red and the blue is the L1, L2 connections at both switches. All I need to do to make turn this into a two-way lighting circuit is join the live supply. So I've got a live conductor here, and I've took that into one of the what we'd call the strapper wires. So I've took that to the red. So therefore the red at that switch and the red at that switch is permanently live. And that's quite common with doing a normal two-way lighting circuit. And then on the other side, on the blue conductor, which is still a live conductor, I've then took that one to the actual light fitting itself. What I'll do with this, because there's not a lot of cable, I'm gonna to have to put this all in a joint box. I'll probably use one of the nice square Wago boxes, join it all up together, and then just take a feed down to where the light is. I'll just draw it out for you. So let's say we've got one light switch here and one light switch here. So they just represent the two way lighting. All I've done is I've simply joined the two commons together. And again, I've joined the two strappers together. And then all I've done, I've took a live supply, I'll do a little arrow there, a live supply or line, shall we say, line conductor coming in. So that's coming in on this one, and it could potentially come off this one, but for the purpose of the diagram, we'll just come off this one and then we've come off this one. And so this is our switch live or switch line, whatever you want to call it. And then that goes to our light, which is then fed, which has then got the neutral on the other side. So let's just see what's happening on this circuit. 
And so now, if I operate this light switch, it comes on. I walk over to this one, it goes off, and come back again to the other switch, and it turns on. So therefore, we've now got a nice two-way lighting circuit. So, got, so in, in, in this particular position, so we've got our line conductor coming in here. It's coming along this strapper here, up here, up to the switch and back. So at the moment, all that is energized is this part of the circuit. So nothing is, so this switch will not be switched on. So now let's just cross that out and turn this switch to the on position. And now let's see what happens. We've got our line conductor coming in, follows up here across to here and it looks like the light will illuminate now let's operate the other switch into that position so now what happens the line conductor is here can't go up there comes across here to there can't go across there so the light therefore turns off if we then go back to this switch and turn it on just like I did in the video. Now what we see is this stays the same. So this stays live up to here, but now because this switch has moved across to here, it now goes up to the common, across to the common, to the switch live, and the light then comes on. And that's just what we did on the video, nice and simple.